people have misattributed this quote to the wrong Robert Mueller, but it's what's within the quote that's important. Here's the right one. We must move as quickly as possible to a one world government, a one world religion under a one world leader. Many knowing exactly what this means and it's why we titled the video what we did, that now a revelation council has been formed the agenda biblical involved the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, and the Pope, but that's just the tip of the iceberg as to who's involved. The Council for Inclusive Capitalism with the Vatican launches. Have you heard about it? Do you know what its goals are? Do you know who's involved? Because if you look just to the right of the Pope, do you know who you're looking at? Well, we're going to cover that, the membership, what this is all about, what it means, and why this is the strongest iteration of what so many have watched for so many years. And we're going to get there rather quickly. My name is Justice Knight. Today, filling in for Lisa Haven, this video was so important to her. I had done it on my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, she'll put a link just above. I truly appreciate it. If you could take a few seconds to do that, subscribe over there. But the material so relevant, so documented, so in your face that we had to get it out to you. If you haven't subscribed to Lisa, by the way, please take a few seconds to do that. Also, help us share the video. Your comments are always appreciated. We can't wait. I can't wait to see him on this one. Lisa wanted me to give a shout out to her sponsor. And again, any times additional charger with 10 horns and seven heads with 10 crowns on his horns and on each one each head a blasphemous name the beast i saw resembled a leopard but had feet like that of a bear and a mouth like that of a lion the dragon gave the beast his power and his throne and great authority but it's what he represents that is relevant to what we're now going to discuss and now is a time when things are shifting we're gonna there's gonna be a new world order out there how many leaders using the same verbiage and falling on so many deaf ears, but this video will be different. This will make the unbelievers a believer. Klaus Schwab saying much the same. Klaus Schwab calls to form one world government, Daniel's fourth kingdom, doing it in a recent presentation at the World Government Summit, calling for the fourth industrial revolution, a banding together of nations, always focused on the same initiative. And I'm going to show you many examples of that through people you wouldn't expect. Now again, members on this Council for Inclusive Capitalism, but it permeates as deep as Klaus Schwab has even admitted his own influence permeates into cabinets around Western governments, as they call it. Nothing compared to what you're about to see. Shalom, given all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kodash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. This is Brother Yerushalam coming back at you with another video. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim, Raka Kodash. This video is going to be entitled Revelation Council, a council for inclusive capitalism. These devils ain't hiding no more. Alright? You know, and these devils. A, you know they coming out plain all right and the reason being is this is, is this truth this truth is killing them this truth is coming out so hard and heavy and so many people waking up and knowing who the true israelites are you know learning the names of the heavenly father and his son all right you no know, they seen all the all the um all the prophecies coming to pass you know so these devils you know hey they playing our game, you know. They they um they trying to as we say in China, they're trying to take in front, okay, by creating this so-called revelation council, right? Mocking the Lord, mocking the Lord, you know, the book of what revelation, which is a book of what prophecy. Alright, so they know what's going on. So what they doing? They want to move as quickly as possible. You saw the guy put up a uh, on this Justice Night, you know, he put up a a saying by this guy Robert Mueller saying we must move as quickly as possible to a one world government because they know that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to take them over they know that Yahweh Shai and Mashiach our Lord is coming to, 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 it's coming to destroy them and when he comes in, they know that's the ass alright so let's start off this thing with some with a quick precept you know it's, it's, a, it's a very um, it's a very um, well used precept but it's very important as well, Revelation 12, 
and verse 12 it says therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them right yeah you you amalek you know so-called elites of esau edom all right woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea right the people of the world for the devil is come down and you have in great wrath and the devil and the ones the guy mentioned who the Rothschild, rockefeller right now the pope joining in and many other organizations around the world are these edomites and these other heathens all right which goes back to psalm 83 right our our enemies list of our enemies taking that crafty council right and i like that word council because that's what they call it they call it the revolution council all right so it says what you have to the earth unto the sea for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath because he knew it that he had but a short time hence the reason why they're saying we had to move as quickly as possible they know that the time coming to an end so what they want to set up a new a one world government a one world religion under one world leader this is really what they want to do all right they want everything they want to keep everybody together and this is not it's not this is nothing new all right you know as the scripture says nothing new under the sun before before I get a couple more precepts let's get um let's get some definitions let's get the definition of the word revelation it's for edification's sake revelation says a surprisingly a surprising and previously unknown fact that has been disclosed to others revelation about his personal life all right disclosure okay and this is this is what these devils really doing they they revealing themselves now now previous to this you know as we learn from the elder apostles you know they this their power was secrecy all right these devils you know they seek they sit in the secret council upon the beds which is what the tables the round tables the board of directors tables and the plot and the plan all right you know has taken that craft the council against us all right but now the truth of them is coming out you know they can't hide anymore so what they do now they're taking they're taking another step what they're doing now they're coming out boldly and declaring their their agendas all right this is the next step right because they know they're ready they already been made out okay now now what they're going to use what what's going to be the secret weapon no longer going to be as much as the secrecy but it's going to be more of the power they mean they mean they mean influ influence and that's what they're going to use all right the influence which they have a lot of influence but these devils you know they own the 147 major corporations of the world all right through the through the different um capital capitalist companies uh um things like state street you know blackrock all these things like that you know they own these they own all the, all these companies which pretty much control the world all right and pretty much the only the only thing that they're not bringing out you know that they wouldn't say outrightly is that who the true people of the lord are that's that's the part that is still keeping secret right but in terms of their 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 involvement and who they are you know they're coming out they're coming out okay so they have this they have this council what to disclose to reveal you know who they are basically you know um the second second entry says the divine or supernatural is closer to humans or something leading to human existence which yeah you know some more biblical portions which which this pope you know which is a liar you know he's he, he's bringing um saying that you know we in time of revelation we in time of world war three you know which is true is coming up right but you know as with as with all serpents you know he tells the truth with a lie all right because he tell the truth and say oh, talk about world war three coming which we know it is coming you know but he, he wouldn't tell you how to get ready for it the true way it's going to lead you down the agenda of these devils all right which is to which is to see hip here okay and this is really this is really what it's leading to all right so this is the this is this is this this is what this council this dot is is formed to do to reveal to reveal who they are and to reveal their true agenda well, let me see if i get the word um council see council I believe this is how we spell it council an advisory deliberative or administrative body of people formally constituted and meeting regularly right right the body of people let's see if i can get that back 
a yeah, body of people elected to manage the affairs of a city, country, or the municipal. They don't think that they won't they won't elected. All right, they choose their own self. All right, and it's what to do what you know basically to reveal the agendas. All right, and this is what this um this council for inclusive capitalism. All right, that's another meaning that we're gonna get one time. Capitalism. Like you, under, like you understand what's going on. Capitalism. An economic and political system, right? An economic and political system. That's what the, the B system is. That's what it's all about. It's an economic and, and part, part of the system is that. A main part. All right? And the B being European Union and NATO. They, they, don't they have an economic and a political system, right? The European Union. All right? You know, and they, 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 they found summits, G7 summits. And that that's what the um the the WEF World Economic Forum is all about as well, you know, uniting them in this economic and political system, right, in which a country's trade and industry are controlled by private owners for profit rather than by the state. So, this is they showing you outright the, the intention. They don't want they don't want no government. They don't need no government, all right. You know as you say clearly, you know um um uh, what you said. I, think, I believe it's one of the Roch, Roch, Rockefeller or Rothschild. He said, if you control the money, they care not who make the laws, right? Government make laws, but they don't, they don't control the money. But these devils are the ones who control all the money. They control the central banks. They control the lending agencies. All right? And this is what it's all about. You know, this is what it's all about. All right, so yeah, these devils they know what they're doing. So, but this this um this system is nothing new. Under it's not, it's it's not it's not new. Okay, let's get let's get a few precepts quickly here. Um, Ecclesiastes one, verse nine, and saying the thing that had been is that which shall be, and the thing which is done is that which shall be done. And there's no new thing under the sun. Yeah, they, these devils try to um do this many times before. Try to you want to unite the people, so-called unite people, right? get people under one banner under them, and their wickedness. Right? Ecclesiastes three and fifteen, that which is now, what which hath been is now, and that which is to be, hath already been, and the heavenly Father required that which is past. Right, we've seen that. All right, let me go back in Genesis, eleven chapter from verse one. It says the whole earth was of one language and one speech, which is, which is what these devils try to do again with, with the English language. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east, they found a plain in the land of Shinar, and they dwelt there. And they said one to another, Go to, let us make brick and burn them through. And they had brick for stone and slime, they had for mortar. Right? And they said, Let us go build us a city and a tower, whose top may reach unto heaven. And let us make a name, lest we scatter that abroad upon the face of the whole earth. And the Lord told them to go and mud, fill the earth and subdue it, which means sort separate yourself. Right? And Yahweh came down to see the city and the tower and the, the children of men build it. And the Heavenly Father said, Behold, the people is, is one, right? This is one hit. Does that sound familiar? One world, one world order, one government, one religion, one leader, all right? They all have one language, and this they begin to do. And now nothing will be restrained from them which they imagine to do. Go to now, let us go down, and there confound their language. That they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from thence unto the face of all the earth, and they left off to build the city. Therefore is the name of it called Babel, which is Babylon, which is where the word Babylon from. Babel means confusion. Right? Because the Lord Yahweh did there confound the language of all the earth. And from thence did the Lord scatter them abroad, up, abroad upon the face of the earth. So it's not new, up, new, not new, you know, under the sun. Same thing happened in Maccabees. Alright. When we went to... Let's get... Let's get first Maccabees. 1. Verse 41. It says, Moreover, King Antiochus wrote, wrote his whole kingdom that all should be one people. And King Antiochus was an Edomite. A so-called white man. And then here they are now doing the same thing over again. Alright. And everyone should leave his laws, so all he did not agree according to the commandment of the king. Right? So basically, you know, give up your ways, your system, your religion, which is serving you, Ahawa Bashim, Yahushai. Right? And following his wicked system. Alright? 
And this is what these devils view, this is what they're uniting right now to be about. Rochester, Rockefeller, the Pope, these elites of Esau, this, 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 the tribe of Amalek. Right, who, who, are the, who are the elite bankers? Right, which the Lord swore war against them from age to age. The Lord swore, swore Lord hates these people. Right, um, Malachi, the first chapter from Malachi uh, 1, from 1 going down there. Right, Daniel, I mean, Salakia, Romans 9 and 13. You no, know, Jacob have I loved, Esau have I hated. The Lord doesn't like these people because they're evil. It says Exodus 17, verse 16. It says, For he said, Because the Lord had sworn, had sworn that Yahweh will have war with Amalek from generation to generation till this day. Right? It says, it, who are these people that this guy that um Justice Knife is talking about here? Alright? Let's bring it up. Right? Because he had a picture up. up. Let's see, school. <laughs> Wrong Robert Mueller, but it's what's within the quote that's important. Knowing exactly what this means, it's Rockefellers and the Pope, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. As the Revelation Council has been formed, the agenda. There's a, there was one way out of picture. Get a picture. Here we go. Well, this is the picture here. You know, so these are these guys here. Like right next to the Pope, there's um, Lynn Forrester, the Rothschild. All right. So you see, you see who's 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 behind this? Uh, the same people the Lord swore war against. All right, this is what they're about. Okay, let's play a little bit more of this video. Generation, through collaborations on a national and global level, that was Klaus Schwab again talking about something that has permeated our minds for so long, so many focused on the birth of the global nation this article from 1992 but it's words more relevant today than ever yeah but back then they were using america as the as the the vehicle to bring in this new world order now they don't they no longer want america to dis they're destroying it they're taking it down themselves and they're building up what china and russia and this is what these devils will be about all right <clears throat> so now so now as contrary to what we had previously you know, where we had, um, let's get the scripture, Psalm 64 and 1. All right, in fact, Psalm 64 and 2, this is the Islam of King David. It says, hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, right? So it was to be a secret counsel, all right? Now, let me go into the word secret. Let's go on web search. Secret. Not known or seen, or not meant to be known or seen by others, right? So it's confidential, top secret. All right, top secret, confidential. All right, this is this is how the council was previous. All right, um, Micah two, and one it says, "Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds, when it is morning, when when the morning is light, they practice it, right? Because they hide in darkness. All right, because it is in the power of their hand." Right, so that's what they usually do in the secret council. But now, as we went through the definition of revelation, which means to reveal, the revealing the count, the whole council. You know, this is this is how you know that the time is short. Right, this is how you know that they're coming down with great wrath very soon. Okay, because they, they cover and their power was the secrecy. Now they're just revealing everything. They're bringing it out. They're telling you the whole agenda. Okay, all right. They're not telling you the reason why, but they're telling you the agenda. This is um. Hide me from the secret council of the wicked, Psalm 64 and 2. Right? From the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, right? Insurrection goes into what's an attack from within. Alright. Uh, it says, um, who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words. So they're coming out right and telling you. Right? That they may shoot in secret at the perfect, right? This part they're still shooting in secret at the perfect. Well, who's the perfect? Jake. Israel. Alright? Right? Um, suddenly do they shoot and fear not. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily. They say, who shall see them? So, they no longer, um, they not, they not, no longer lay any snares privily. They lay it outright. Okay? And they encourage themselves in this evil matter of doing what? They know of, of cornering Jake. Getting Jake into a corner. 
And this is what this is what they this is what they've been doing. This this so called um what they call us conspiracy theorists. Conspiracy, you know, which means consp conspiracy. Conspire means to breathe together. Con means wit. And spiracy means to, to um to breathe. Alright. Basically, you know, it is a true it is a true conspiracy. Alright? But now they're bringing it out. Now now they're not they're no longer hiding it, hiding their agenda. They they wetting this sword or sharpening this sword outright. Okay? Let's get another scripture. Psalm 36. And verse 1. It says, The transgression of the wicked saith within my heart, that there is no fear of the heavenly Father before his eyes, for he flattered himself in his own eyes until his iniquity be found to be hateful. The words of his mouth are iniquity and deceit. He had left off to be wise and to do good. He devised mischief upon his bed, right, upon the, 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 the round tables, right? He set it himself in a way that is not good. He abhorred not evil because everything this devil does is evil. You know, they're talking about this um, integration, this fourth industrial revolution, all right? It's on one, um, it's on one each, each country and member state must give up a level of their sovereignty, all right? Here you have the Bank of America, which is owned by these devils, all right? You know, the levying carbon tax. It's talking about levying carbon tax on everybody, all right? You know, and then... um. The same devil you saw in this um today klaus schwab again talking about something that has same devil you saw in one here you can see the round table here same devil devil they saw um in there which is linda rothschild you know she um she basically talked about you know they had to involve the pope because they had wanted to moral um it's, it's important to include in this new system a system of behavior morality and ethics right which we know is all wickedness Right, which we know they what they really want to influence is the policy, taxes, labor laws, and they're using they using what the RC Church, you know, as a platform to control the minds of those who are indoctrinated within it, okay, and get them back, win them over to what the new world order, and this is really what it's about, you know. So it's a big money, it's a big money campaign, you know, you know these elites don't they no longer hiding, they no longer secretive. Right, they're no longer um, you know, in the dark in the dark. They're coming out. They're coming out. Now let me get um an article here that I had. Let's get an article here. Some alt dash market dot us. It says what is the council for inclusive capitalism? It's the new world order, basically. That's what that's what it is. Alright, it's the new world order. Alright? Which is a big business taking over the world. This is what basically what they say, and you can see the um, the Novos Ordo Seclorum, right? The New World Order, right? The idea that there is an agenda for global government among the financial and political elites of the world has long been called a conspiracy theory within the mainstream and established media. And sadly, even when you can convince people to look at and accept the evidence that banking institutions and certain politi politicians work together for their own purposes, right? Many folks will still not entertain the notion that the ultimate goal of these power mongers is one world empire, and this is what they're about. That's why the banking institutions, the money, right, the big money guys must work for the politicians. Because if they can, the ones who control the money influence those who, who, who make the laws. Alright? It says um, many folks will not entertain because they're blind. Alright? You know, all these jakes that believe in this government system, they, they, they're completely blind. I believe it's um, Isaiah, let's get a scripture, Isaiah uh, 66, or is it 66 and 4? Yeah, the Lord said, I also will choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them because when I call, none didn't answer. When I speak, they did not hear, but they did evil before my eyes and chose that which I delighted not. So because... Jake then choose the ways of the Lord, Lord choose the delusion. Right? The Lord have them, the Lord is one have them blind. When you go to Isaiah 6, Isaiah 6 chapter, it talks about that. Alright? The blindness. So they, they, they just can't wrap their heads around such a thing. Right? They can't believe that the government could be doing them those things. Which you would govern men. Govern means to control and men goes into your mind. They control your mind. Alright? 
It says people will say that the establishment is driven um, by greed alone and that their associations are fragile and based only on individual self-interest. They will say that crisis events and shifts in social and political trends are random, not the product of deliberate engineering. They will say that elitists will never be able to work together because they are too narcissistic, which is bullshit. Yeah, they have the, the fallouts, but at the end of the day, they have one agenda. Right? And it's not a new agenda, it's a very old agenda. It says all of these arguments are a coping mechanism for the public to deal with evidence they cannot otherwise refute. All right? All right? So it says, it says um, when the facts become concrete and the powers that be um, admit to their schemes openly, some people will revert to confused denial and this is what's going to happen now with these jakes. All right? Because... The facts are becoming concrete right now. You know? The prophecy is being revealed. Right? The powers that be, you know, they, they, they're coming out openly now. They're revealing the thing. That's hence the Revolution Committee. Council. Right? And now some people are going to revert to what I said. Confused denial. They don't want to believe that organized evil on such a scale could actually exist. But this is exactly what, why the Lord called them the, wick, the wicked. Right? If it did, then everything they thought they knew about the world might be wrong. And, and this is what people are afraid to, to think about, to conceptualize these jakes. Alright? Um, Malachi 1. And verse 4. Um, let me read from verse 1. This is why this is the, these people are evil. They were meant to be the wicked. Right? Job 9 and 24 said the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Okay? You cover the faces of the judges thereof. The judges are Israel. Malachi 1 and 2, I have loved you, saith the Lord, yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord? Yet I love Jacob, and I hated Esau, and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Okay? Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we return and build the desolate places, and that's what they did. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Yahweh of hosts, they shall build it, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the 